Welcome to the Soccer Tavern, where we're discussing the history, culture, and philosophy of the beautiful game. My name is Dave, and in this video, we're talking about the Egyptian men's national soccer team's history. Pull up a seat, and let's start the discussion. Egypt is a country with a population of about 99 million people. It's located in northeastern Africa. The National Soccer Federation is a member of CAF, which is the African Confederation, and the Egyptian national team historically played its home matches at the Cairo International Stadium in the city of Cairo. It held about 75,000 people, but nowadays it plays its matches mainly at the Borg El Arab Stadium in Alexandria, and that holds about 86,000 people. The Egyptian Football Association was created in 1921 at the insistence of Hussein Hijazi after the country was eliminated in the first round of the 1920 Olympics. Hijazi was the captain and manager for the team at those Olympics and he felt formal organization was necessary to compete with other countries at the international level. The Egyptian national team's nickname is the Pharaohs. Pharaohs were the religious and political leaders of ancient Egypt, basically functioning as kings or queens. The Pharaoh word actually came from the Greek translation of the Egyptian word for royal residence, literally meaning great house. Over the years, the Pharaoh term evolved to also apply to the country's leader. The Pharaoh term is pretty distinct to the country of Egypt, which explains why the national team uses this as a nickname. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a ton of information on the Egyptian National Federation crest, but here's a picture of it. The colors of black, white, and red come from the Egyptian flag. The soccer ball is obviously related to the sport of Egypt, and the text Egyptian FA at the bottom is self-explanatory. I don't want to present any misinformation or information that may be inaccurate, so if you happen to have additional information about the swirling lines, Endor can confirm that the Arabic writing in the middle of the crest says Egyptian Football Association, which I assume but it can't verify. Please let us know in the comment section below the video. Egypt has made three World Cup Finals appearances, including the 2018 World Cup. Its best finish was the 1934 World Cup when it came in 13th place. From a continental competition perspective, Egypt has played in 23 African Cup of Nations tournaments. They've won the tournament seven times, which is a record in 1957, 59, 86, 98, 2006, 2008, and 2010. Egypt qualified for the 2018 World Cup by winning Group E of the third round of African World Cup qualification ahead of Uganda. It's placed in Group A in the group stage of the 2018 World Cup. I want to highlight three of the best historical players in Egypt's history now. Mahmoud El Khatib was the best Egyptian player in the 1970s and 1980s. He was nicknamed Bibo and won African Footballer of the Year in 1983. He also won the African Cup of Nations with Egypt in 1986. Hossam Hassan is widely considered the best Egyptian player of all time. He won three African Cup of Nations with Egypt and played at the 1990 World Cup. He scored a record 69 goals and 176 caps for the national team. And finally, Essam El Hadri is 45 years old and is remarkably still involved with the Egyptian national team. He's a goalkeeper who made his international debut in 1996 and will likely make his World Cup debut later this year after 22 years. He has won four African Cup of Nations titles and has been named goalkeeper of that tournament four times. His longevity is remarkable. And a couple players to watch out for at the 2018 World Cup. Obviously, Mohamed Salah is going to be the star for Egypt. He plays for Liverpool FC in England for his club soccer. He's a winger slash forward and is arguably one of the best attacking players in the Premier League and possibly the world right now. And a breakout player to keep your eye on is Mahmoud Hassan, who goes by his nickname of Trezeguet. He is a midfielder who plays for Kazım Pasa in Turkey, where he's on loan from his parent club Anderlecht in Belgium. The Pharaoh's main rival is Algeria. Diplomatically, these two countries have historically got along as Egypt supported Algeria's independence from France and the two countries cooperated in a couple of wars together. The soccer rivalry really stems from a 1989 World Cup qualification match. Egypt won 1-0 and there was violence among players and fans. Things escalated even further in 2009 with a series of World Cup qualification matches. 
the Algeria team bus was allegedly attacked in Cairo, and cyber warfare was conducted between citizens of both countries. That led to a diplomatic crisis between the two Arab countries, as well as between the communities of these two nations living abroad in France. This is one of the most heated rivalries in all of Africa. Egypt's all-time record appearance holder is Ahmed Hassan with 184 caps. The country's all-time record goal scorer is Hossam Hassan with 69 goals. And one last interesting fact about Egypt, they were the first African team to ever qualify for a World Cup when they beat Palestine in a two-legged playoff in 1934. The Pharaohs won 11-2 on aggregate and made the trip to Italy for the tournament that year. So there you have it, a bit of history on the Egyptian men's national soccer team. If you have anything else to add to the discussion, please let us know in the comment section below the video. Thanks for stopping by the Soccer Tavern. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers!